Hello and welcome to this new video in which we are going to learn how to download and install Audiofire's libraries. We are going to use this library as an example, but all our libraries will uh, need the same procedure. After your purchase, you have received an email from FastSpring, which includes the links. The file number one link always is the main instrument folder. And then you might have several files after that one, which um, are basically all the samples folders. In this example, we have only one sample folder, but you might have several for other bigger libraries. So all we do is click on each link and wait that the download is finished. So let's start downloading the first file. And then the second file. This might take quite some time depending on the size of each library. So I'm going to skip this step for the moment. OK, this is my downloads folder. I can see both zip files. So now I can unzip them, right click and choosing archive utility. And uh, I can see that the file is being unzipped. And I repeat this for every zip file that I uh, downloaded. I've skipped a little bit because it might take some time to unzip all the files. So now I have one main folder of this instrument and uh, one sample folders for this instrument. But as I said already, you might have many more sample folders depending on which instrument you purchased. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the sample folders, only this one in this case, and just drag and drop it inside the main instrument folder. At this point, the installation is basically almost finished. All I need to do is just drag and drop the NKI file inside contact, and you can see that it's loading. If the library comes with snapshots, which are basically presets, to install them, all we have to do is to click on the wrench, instrument options, find the snapshot tab, which in this case is already um, visible and press show. Now the dialog box will tell me there are no user snapshots saved yet you want to create a path. Click on yes and at this point a new window appears a new folder has been created with the name of the library. All I have to do is to go to my package, open the snapshot folder which can be called in different ways in this case it's called just snapshots and drag and drop all the contents to the library snapshot folder that has been just created. Close that, close this tab, click back on the wrench and now I'm back to my instrument. At this point, if uh, I select the camera view here, I will see all my snapshots that will be ready to load any. And the instrument is working. One last thing. To make sure that next time this instrument will load faster, we can save the instrument. And we only choose the option patch only and make sure that absolute sample path is not checked and press save. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.